Now let's see how is flu diagnosed and treated. See diagnosis of flu during an epidemic or when many people have it it's not difficult because it can be diagnosed by your history all those symptoms we talked about earlier and maybe if there is a need for clinical exam by your doctor but most cases during epidemic do not need any testing however when the epidemic is beginning or if the picture is not clear cut flu then a test can be used which is called the PCR method where a swab is taken from inside your mouth or nose and tested and the test results come back in 24 hours. As I mentioned in most cases during an epidemic or when many cases have flu or swine flu this test is not needed in the beginning of the epidemic to see what type of epidemic it is is it a flu epidemic or swine flu epidemic or bird flu epidemic this testing may be needed second thing is that this PCR method of testing is not available to all in many countries and the most important thing is it does not change the management in most cases management remains the same whether it is flu or swine flu so the PCR method can be used in cases which are not clear cut or at the beginning of the epidemic now how is flu treated the good thing is that now there are tablets available to treat flu and swine flu especially in cases of swine flu they can decrease the severity of infection severity of flu they can decrease the duration of the illness that instead of say 10 days you will be sick for 7 days they decrease the complications from flu and some of these complications we saw that they can kill like pneumonia like seizures so they decrease the chance of complications if you suspect you have flu or if you know you have flu contact your doctor immediately that he can prescribe you the tablets that will control your swine flu see the very important thing is uh, that you must contact your doctor immediately by phone or whatever method you want to use many a times it happens your symptoms may start say at 10 o'clock in night and you say okay I will talk to my doctor tomorrow and next day may be a Sunday so you will say oh the doctor doesn't open the clinic on Sunday no don't do that because if the treatment is started after 48 hours of start of symptoms the treatment is not very effective so you have to call the doctor immediately and start the treatment as soon as possible to be most effective for the treatment to be most effective in controlling your flu in addition to tablets given to the patient those people who are exposed to that flu patient um, can also be given uh, tablets to prevent flu so suppose a husband has flu and he was very close with his wife for a day or something when he was having symptoms um, so she also can be given tablets to prevent the flu however the tablets are not used to prevent the flu in society in general because you don't know who will get flu when so how long can you give the tablets to the whole community you can't so the tablets are reserved for use for patients and people who have been exposed to that flu patient and again I cannot emphasize enough 
the tablet should be started immediately for it to be having the best effect in controlling your flu. Once the symptoms start, it can take up to three to four weeks or even longer if somebody has illness like asthma or something. However, the quarantine period or isolation period is first seven to ten days after the onset of the symptoms and then your doctor will decide whether you need a longer quarantine or isolation um, but first seven to ten days you have to be in isolation so as you don't give your flu to others now what are the outcomes of swine flu suppose somebody gets swine flu what will happen if we are not careful then it can become an epidemic or a pandemic pandemic is when the whole world is affected epidemic is when a large number of people are affected so suppose it's in one country and hundreds of thousands of people are affected it is epidemic and when millions of people are affected or even if hundreds of thousands of people are affected all across the globe it is a pandemic last pandemic from h1n1 virus flu virus happened in 2009 and we could control it well see for example the epidemic that happened in 1918 the year 1918 killed 4% of the world population so in today's term it killed 320 million people or it will kill 32 crore people now that's a very big number so when we did not have information on how to control flu how to do quarantine or we did not have medication we had such disastrous results so now that we know what to do to prevent all these problems we should follow all the advice I have given you in the previous few minutes see even though most of the people with swine flu recover many can die because the cases are in millions so out of millions if 4% die that will be hundreds of thousands of people or millions of people as I mentioned flu can have complications like pneumonia seizures loss of consciousness and kill the patient some patients suffer from post flu syndrome like persistent cough for many months weakness fatigue etc but these things are more common after regular flu but can happen after swine flu also as we saw earlier the complications from swine flu can be flu pneumonia uh, which can be very dangerous and kill the patient it can be a super infection pneumonia like once the patient was getting better and then the patient start becoming worse with lot of cough and phlegm so maybe an infection on top of the infection has occurred and you must bring it to your doctor's attention that he can give antibiotic to take care of this pneumonia flu can also cause loss of consciousness also called coma or can lead to convulsions or also called seizures and can also kill the patient so it's our responsibility to stop the swine flu from spreading now not tomorrow not next week not next month now the reason is that less number of people in society get flu lesser will be your chances and your loved ones chances to of getting flu so your children are protected they will have less chances of getting flu your parents will have less chances of getting flu your husband or wife or co-workers or friends they will all have less chances of getting flu suffering and dying if we all work together to decrease the 
overall number of flu cases in the society eat healthy fruits and vegetables boost immunity that helps fight against flu sleep for 8 hours daily do not take swine flu lightly during the epidemic avoid contact with pigs because it is not clear whether humans can give infection to the pigs or not and if you give infection to the pig the pigs can give infection to other pigs and things can spread in many countries pigs are red like cows in some countries or buffaloes and so the infection can spread a lot or people can have pet pigs so avoid contact with pigs during the swine flu epidemic practice what you have learned here you didn't learn you didn't spend this hour just to hear this but practice what you have learned also most important educate others at your home at work because not everybody is as lucky as you are that you have access to so much material so what you have learned share with others because ultimately it will benefit you and your family and your loved ones So to summarize, swine flu is a very highly contagious disease, it's an infection that spreads from one person to another by mucus droplets when some patient with flu coughs or sneezes. We have to break the cycle of transmission from one patient to the second patient to the third patient to the fourth patient by using isolation or quarantine as I described earlier by hand washing for 30 seconds many times a day by not attending or organizing big gathering of people and by early treatment if somebody gets flu and maybe vaccination also you must protect yourself and protect others to protect yourself avoid contact with others during flu season don't go to big gatherings or even gatherings of few people just stay at home wash your hands for 30 seconds many times a day use alcohol gel to clean hands use those techniques to avoid exposure indirect exposure and direct exposure to flu virus and get vaccinated especially if you are going to be caring for flu patients like a physician or a nurse or other health caregivers if you get the flu it is your duty to protect others so you quarantine yourself don't go to the doctor's office call him first learn to cough and sneeze in elbow in a safe way clean the surfaces with bleach so there are so many things you can do to prevent the spread of flu in community and you can do to protect yourself from getting flu again what you have learned share with others educate others as I mentioned previously early treatment gives much better results so don't wait for the morning don't wait for Monday if you have symptoms call your doctor immediately so live healthy and live happy If you want to learn more about swine flu, you can go to one of these sites. This last one, youtube.com, you can search for iClass Ajmer Flu and you will get free access to this presentation. You can send this link to anybody in the world and they can learn free how to protect themselves and the community from flu infection. If you have any general questions, you can write to us and we will try to answer them either in 
this forum or on YouTube. Let's all work together that we can stop the spread of swine flu and we can control it as soon as possible.